Good day YouTube. Today I'm just doing a bit of a comparison video between old versus new when it comes to Lubuntu. So Lubuntu through the years in other words. So on the left hand side I've got Lubuntu 18.04, in the middle Lubuntu 20.04 and on the right Lubuntu 22.04. So basically, these are all the long-term uh, releases, or the LTS uh, releases here. They come out every two years, so the, the version in stands for the year, dot the month that they come out. So this is uh, quite a common occurrence with anything Ubuntu related. This is just the, you could call the L for lightweight, uh, and I'll get into that in just a moment. But really, it's just a visual comparison. I won't get into the nitty gritty too much. I will say they've got five years support, uh, roughly, each of them. So Ubuntu 18.04, which came out in 2018 it's supported till about 2023 and so on etc with these last two here so they are actually all still supported uh, if you want to keep uh, using them over time just the same operating system without the need to change it every six or twelve months or so so let's have a look here. Now uh, we are we do have some visual differences. You'll see the way that it works. In fact, Lubuntu 18.04, the one that came out in 2018 here, is actually running on the old uh, the older LXDE desktop environment. So we haven't seen that for for quite a while with Lubuntu. Whereas anything newer is actually running on the LXQT. Uh, desktop environment. So a little bit uh, different libraries, a little bit newer, a little bit nicer to look at in fact because if we are to open up say the, uh, the start menus here and just take a little bit of a look we'll see that uh, the older version is just very unimaginative, just very boring looking here. Whereas the new versions, they're all colored up, uh, colored icons, you can see things better. You've even got a little search option here, which I, I really like to see here. So type in Firefox or whatever may be the case, and you'll get exactly what you want. So that's always been uh, just a bit of a helpful update, I guess you could say there. Uh, let's maybe uh, scroll across to the, the file managers and see how these look any nicer. So I can already see that the uh, the latest releases, the the most two, uh, well the most two recent ones, they do look a little bit nicer. They're coloured up a little bit more, newer icons, just just a better look and feel in general. There, it is all using the same type of file manager. It's a nice little lightweight one called PC Man FM. Uh, well, QT at the end of the the two newer ones. And the old one is just called PC Man. FM. So a little bit more uh, simplified, basic, or a little bit more old school at least, I'll say the one on the left there. Uh, let's see what else we can find now. I guess it doesn't hurt to look maybe a little bit under the hood and see what's going on. So in terms of the kernels, we've got the 5.4 kernel for the older release, 5.13 kernel for the 20.04 release, and the 5.15 kernel for the 22. 0.04 release. Now a new kernel will just give you uh, access to newer hardware if you've got a newer machine, so assist with graphics cards, Wi-Fi cards, CPU, microcode, you name it, it will help with it there, so just always something to, to keep in, in mind there too. Uh, if we were to maybe uh, go across and have a little bit of a look as well, I don't want to get too nitty gritty under the hood like I promised, but I just can't help myself. So let's have a look at the RAM usage on boot up. So there is a uh, I guess it's consistently getting higher with every two years, every release that comes out every two years. So 238 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Lubuntu on the left hand side, Lubuntu 18.04. In the middle, we've got Lubuntu 20.04. Now this one is using 370 megabytes of RAM. And on the right hand side, 452 megabytes of RAM for the Lubuntu 22.04. So you can see it is it is going up over time. It is getting bigger. It's a newer operating system. They add more features and things into it. Uh, not the least of which is the, the software, but uh, you'll see you've got all your, your standard for each and every one of these three distros. You've got your standard internet apps, your Office apps, LibreOffice, and so forth, etc. But hey, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a look and feel uh, about Lubuntu through the years. Yeah, it's always interesting to do one of these videos here. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.